Hi, Hi I'm, I'm Rosa and Ritchie, and, and I'm, I'm here, here to, to present, present the Life is Too Short. Hello, my name is Roseanne Fraser Ritchie, and I present um, events Life is Too Short every Wednesday at six o'clock. Um, from six o'clock until, um, no, from seven, sorry. From seven till half past seven. Um, from seven to half past seven. And you're, mo you're most warmly invited to, you know, log in to Zoom every Wednesday um, and read your poems or your prose. I look forward to that. So while we're waiting, um, I'd like to read some of my poems. Um, this one is called Staying Alive because I have a lot of empathy with people um, that are on those ventilators. I know what it's like and it's the most horrendous thing in the world. And the only thing that kept myself and a lot of people alive in intensive care was um, was the nurses and the doctors, the dedicated nurses and doctors. I was there, I think, for about 10 days. Um, I was gravely ill. And if it were not for the nurses and doctors on, those, on that ward, the um, critical care ward, I wouldn't be speaking with you now. Um, so I don't mind, you know, if I make a mistake or two, you know, I got the times mixed up there. I don't mind, you know, honestly, you know, if you make mistakes, what does that matter now? You know, we have to pull together. We have to pull together for, you know, for all of us, because we could be, None of us are immune, none of us, to, this, to what's going on. So I think we're doing very well staying at home, trying to follow the Scottish government and the, science, the scientists' advice. And that's the best thing we can do. I know we have to go to the supermarket, we can go out and, and jog outside if we're lucky to have a garden or a balcony. Um, I know it won't last forever, but patience, you know, we're all learning patience. It's not a virtue. It's something that we all have to learn. Anyway, I'm going on. Um, life is too short. Well, this is from my book, Staying Alive. As you can see, it's upside down, perhaps. Um, and I wrote this when I came out of hospital. Um, it was 2013. It was a long time ago. It really sticks in your head. And that's why I know nothing ever is going to be the same again. I don't think you change as a person, but you realize, you know, truly how lucky I am, you know. Um, I'd love for you to join me every Wednesday, please, um, here. And it is from 7 to 7.30, 7.40, depending on, on Zoom, you know, if they want to give us a little, you know, a few more minutes. Thank you, Zoom. Um, you know, thank you. Thanks for letting us do this, for keeping our mental health stable. Um, so my first poem is Staying Alive. Putting on some red lipstick, feeling glam in an instant. Have a good shave, my man. Apply your new posh cologne. Hospital beds are in the past, yet we woke up there still alive. We have been through the mill. Now we will take care of ourselves. Oh. Born then, free, naked, blood spattered, innocent then clothed, fed and loved, nurtured. Fall into education, learning about life. Fall in love. Fall out of love, fall back in love again, fall ill, hurt, wounded, drunk, without wealth, homelessness, hopelessness. Reach out, help them, pick them up from that hurtful place, 
nurture, encourage, re-educate, build them up, find them a home, care. Paul, again, wealthy, educated, back on track, hopeful, but never forgetting, grateful. Paul, one day in isolation, but some may come back and help return the favour. Beautiful face. Looking on the outside, there is a beautiful face. As you see nature until the elements have raged, there is a natural balance, a bit like the Libra scales. There's one day earthquakes and the other day rain. But there is an answer. You know that runs deep down? Earth is our mother and she will dictate to us. Then there is rebellion, but this must be expected, showing the world this is how we can change. Growing older, but not always wiser. I wish to paint a canvas. And if I did, they would be of the sun, the moon and the stars. And you know, Vincent van Gogh, he would be my man. Well, he would never know. Because that is how we're connected. Why worry? Then the customers ask, why are there not many? Orders have not arrived, but my internal voice cries, don't worry about a thing, because every little thing is going to be all right. Bob Marley vibes you all. I confess. I confess to staying sometimes in bed until noon and watching old movies. I confess to eating lots of chocolate when I should eat only one or two. I confess to drinking alcohol, smoking the odd spliff, suffering with a hangover from hell. I confess to having great sex, exciting and all that it does. I confess to laughing at life, dancing like crazy, out with my man, pampering, drinking, living it up. I went out with the girls. I confess that poetry is magical. It gives me a thrill. I confess to singing songs I enjoy. I like being in a band and performing on stage. Oh. Sing in big films like The Wife. Love that. You know, I confess to all that I love. And I confess for all that I love, I will never feel guilty. Patterns of behavior, repeating patterns on the wall, patterns knitting on a blank canvas, panther, patterns making them everywhere. My mystery. I fancy a secret treat. One that beats the blues. No, I will not reveal it because it is my mystery. But everyone should have one and keep it all to yourself. Mark safe. You see it on Facebook and think, oh, what a relief. They are not even friends. I know they are strangers, yet they survive danger. And it could have been me. Sex has no age. It was my birthday yesterday. We're thinking at my age, I still feel horny. Even after lots of kids and good and bad relationships. Oh, I still feel horny. Still, I want to have sex in our field and feel the cold air on my bum. Oh, I still feel horny. Make love amongst the thistles. So what about the bristles? But I still feel horny. 
on a rocky boat to Amsterdam, even though I felt sick. I still feel horny. Cycle up to the Penlands, jumping all the hills I go. I still feel horny. Because thank goodness for that. Because even as I age, I still feel horny. That's it. Germany. City history landscapes. The new city hall in Hanover is really striking. Grand, the architecture outside, inside the true history of a city. Modern landscape exhibits of a changing city rebuilt after the war. Different times in history, there before my eyes revealing. Here seeing the new city rebuilt, reconstructed again after 1945. I am a Scottish tourist born after them, but observing and seeing the other side, losing it. I wrote a broad poem about swearing, but I just fucking lost it. <laughs> Feeling lazy. I must not be so. There is much to do. Reach, wrote, oops, go back. I can't cut my tongue. Feeling lazy. I must not be so. There is much to do. Routine is very good when you're in the mood. Feeling lazy when I must work. What do I really want to do? Make a list lying on my sofa, lose weight, dancing again, swimming. Well, not now. Take up this, take up that. And I think I'm not that lazy. It's more a chance to refresh, plan, and start again when this is done. One more day. 24 hours more, it will be time to go. The nearer it comes, the more we want to stay. We knew it would end, then we cannot pretend. 24 hours more to go. Risk takers tell. Take it upon myself with my own permission, not waiting on the moments to pass. A risk taker capturing the scene. The world president, once in a lifetime visit. We were there together. We heard his wise words. Even though I was working, you were having dinner. Not knowing I could use my own initiative. I was there. So I told the world his words. The stories. Pages of my book turn, but little do I notice. Entrenched is my mind so much on the story. Eyes scanning words are like little wheels turning, reaching my imagination, connecting with characters, liking them, knowing them, disliking them without choice. The writer expressing with skill so naturally and making sense. Adult and child, girl, boy, man or woman, look for books that are highly recommended. Unstable or steady your world, dive deep inside of the words and get hooked on a really excellent book. Surreal world. I have walked along dusty roads, seen an October bright sunset. Between my toes felt the softness of the sand. The ferry bobbing up and down skillfully takes us across the bay. We arrive at our destination, then sipping our latte coffee gratefully, watch the fountains dancing. It all seems so very decent. If only this world was perfect, there is no mental illness, nor debilitating headaches or adjustments to be made. Wrong. Adjustments can be made. Living in the world of your friends and loved ones, unreal worlds they may seem. People need never feel all alone at all. In company. And if there is surreal, then what is this thing called normal? Expectations shower me with wisdom, 
expectations, showering me with wisdom, answering all my questions. I will follow your wise lead. You will have been there before, taking me through the forest, leading me up the steep terrains. And when the night falls, you will look upon the bright stars. You will tell me plenty of stories, tales of the planets, Venus and Mars, the earth and why we exist, all the histories and what is yet to be. For you are my adventures, buddy, and you will make me very happy. But there's only one small trouble. I have yet to meet you. Mar Isol, 30 years have gone so fast I sit and drink a canya at the Mar Isol. Memories they all flood back, always in colours and sunshine galore. My children in pushchairs were with me, each one, wherever I want, wherever I wandered. Night or day, they would also come along. Across in the bay, we saw the yachts mirror, side by side, the rich, for Ibiza has them all. Sitting with my mother, having an emotional chat. Memories of her husband, Alan, and the places they would go. The castle magnificent nearby, very steep steps to climb now. But we remember, though, Ibiza 94, we could jump the steps them all. So worth it to see the spectacular views. Returning now to our chat, remembering special memories as we drink our beers at a cafe favourite. Shopping soon, of course, at the Bar del Rey, where one more week, more memories we will make. And my last poem is called The Beach. There is an existential, there is an existential world. It pulls you up and down. I know about connections. I have been there for the decades. One ordinary day can then take your breath away. I have been there at the disco Northern Soul. Music keeps me upbeat, consistent through and through. Listen to your own beat, sure to always keep you strong. And I'm going to dance in my kitchen. And I will dance all night long. Well, thank you very much. And I hope um, you can join me next Wednesday at seven o'clock um, on Zoom. Um, and the reference is, if you want to jot this down, is 350-537-0508. And the password is L-I-F-E-I-S-H-O-R-T. That's 350-537-0508. And the password is L-I-F-E-I-S-H-O-R-T. I hope you can join me next week. Um, stay home, keep safe, and God bless. Thank you.